Welcome back to the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. It's a circuit that has a huge amount of history and I'm sure we'll be staging a fantastic qualifying session today. Now then, Anthony Davidson, you're not getting any younger, but you have been involved in your fair share of qualifying sessions in a, an illustrious 30-year career. How do you deal with the pressure when you have that one chance to deliver a perfect lap? It's not so much about dealing with the pressure, it's more about how you approach the risk and just how much of it are you willing to take. You're constantly balancing the car on the edge of grip from braking, cornering and traction. And over the course of a lap, it's easy to get that balance wrong. And that's why achieving the perfect lap is almost impossible. As you say, I've been doing this 30 years now and it never gets any easier.
So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 18.4.
With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Verstappen, Butler and Sergio Perez. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Obviously, I expected a better session, but these things happen from time to time. Try to make up for it in the race. Formula One may have been absent from Mexico for 23 years, but after 2015's triumphant return, it was as if we'd never been away. In Mexico, a Grand Prix is more than just a race. It's a celebration of speed and of bravery. There's nothing quite like the atmosphere in the stadium today. They'll be drowning out the cars with their noise as they make their way through on lap one. At 2,285 metres above sea level, the thin air of the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez poses a unique challenge, not just to a driver's skill, but to the efficiency of their engines as well. 17 corners make up a lap of this 2.6-mile circuit, and you can expect incredible speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour and overtaking two into the hard braking zones of turns one and turn four. Anthony Davidson, thanks for joining me once again for the Grand Prix. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. Everything's on the line here today and the title hangs in the balance. So how do you think they'll be coping with all that pressure? I think as long as they keep their mind on the task and not its historical significance, they'll be just fine. This is a race just like any other. You do the best you can and accept that sometimes things are going to happen outside of your control. If they can approach today with that attitude, the pressure shouldn't be a problem. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Devon Butler will lead us away from pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Gasly, Faber, Max Verstappen, and Hamilton, Vettel, Russell, Leclerc, and Carlos Sainz. Magnussen, Grosjean, Valtteri Bottas, they've taken a grid penalty. And Kubica, Ricardo, Giovinazzi, Alexander Albon, and Kimi Raikkonen. The rookie and Nico Hülkenberg completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. We need to be doing better than this. Let's push hard.
gases and brakes. We need to keep the engine cool, though, so don't go too high with the revs. So another fantastic victory for Red Bull today. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. And after this round of the World Championship, 
Here's how things look in the driver's table. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continued to extend the gap at the top of the table. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Bad luck today. That must be incredibly disappointing. Do you have any comments about the collisions? That crash looked pretty serious. Can you walk me through what happened? How are you and your rival getting along? Appreciate your time. What on earth was that performance? Come on, this isn't bumper cars at the fairground. Your results and conduct here matter, so pay more attention. We can't afford too many races like that. 